Hey everyone, this is Stevie here, and today we are going to be looking at the mirror tool. Now, the mirror tool is very useful for doing things where you don't want to have to redraw like an entire section of something that you just spend a couple minutes on. So what we'll do here is draw something that's fairly intricate, and then we will mirror it so that we don't have to do it again. So we'll do 20, and then we will do 30. And then we can draw a line and construction line. We'll go over 50 millimeters. And then we'll turn off construction line and do 20 and 30 again. And now we want to put a little arc in here. There's two ways we can do this, and we'll do them both ways. So first, we'll do a three-point arc. So since these are in their own places, then they are constrained by this dimension here. So if this side was not constrained by this dimension, when we what we're going to be doing next is making this arc tangent to these. And if I didn't have that constraint, then it would actually move the circle rather than the arc. So what we'll do is just select on these two guys here and then draw it down. We're going to press D and select the arc and I want to make the radius 30 millimeters. Now, I want to make it tangent so that it's flush with the outside so that it makes a nice little dip. So we'll click here and click there, and we'll click on this one and make it tangent again. And that's nice. And now we can do the exact same thing, but instead of redrawing that, why not just let's use the mirror tool here. So it's up here or in your create tab down here. So we'll select the arc here, and mirror line is in the middle there, and just press OK. And now it's done. Now let's do this again, except we want to make the whole thing. So it'll be a four, four circle four part, I guess. <laughs> so we'll select line again and turn on construction line. We want to go down 80 millimeters. And then I guess we need to go halfway through because the way a construction line, or the way that the mirror tool works, is you need to have a line for it to go across. So we need to draw a line from the midpoint of this. If we want this, if we want the other circle midpoint to be 80 millimeters from this one, then we need to draw directly in the middle, just across here. And that will give it something to flip over, basically. So what we can do now is go to our create tool and select mirror. We're gonna highlight this all real quick. And now we're gonna disable that one and select our mirror line. And as soon as we select this, you can see that it already has it in place. So now we'll just press OK. Finally, we want to make these two guys connected on both sides, similarly to how we did it here. So we'll go up here and draw a three-point arc. Actually, you know what? Instead of that, we will do a circle. Instead of an arc, we'll do a circle and we'll make the circle tangent to it. And that way you've got multiple ways of how to do this. So you see that we need to make it a radius of 30, so we'll make the diameter 60 then. Press enter, and now we'll click tangent. We'll select the circle and select one of these circles. And then we'll do the same thing, selecting the circle and selecting this outside circle. And now, it's got a nice arc in the middle. And we c all we have to do to fix that up is just trim it. We'll do, on the other side, we will do a arc. Because that way we can see that we can do it both ways. So we'll select a point here and a point here and just draw it in. We'll press D to dimensionalize it and select our radius of 30 millimeters and press enter. Now you can see it's identical on both sides. I'm just going to hide our dimensions and constraints real quick so that you can see it. And there you have it. That is how we use our mirror tool and how we can actually use a arc or a circle to draw like a radius arc here like this. And so, that's all for now. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please, like and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions. And we'll see you in the next video.